scavenge lord loot video time uh, this stash actually represents a couple of weeks of scavenging because I have been out um, ac actually I've been out briefly my last two garbage mornings but then I was interrupted by the darn job had to go to work so after two ab abbreviated scavengings uh, this is what I was a this is all the stuff that I was able to get. That and a surprise, which is currently on my back porch. I'll show you later. Okay. <laughs> the... Uh, that's a ba is a bag of Purina dog food. It was already open when I found it. So there's probably 10 pounds left in there. I have a friend. She's actually here with me now. And... Uh, if her dog won't eat it, then her chickens will. What? <laughs> Speaking of chickens, I have here some boxes of expired snack cakes and goldfish, okay. which I think that the chickens will probably appreciate that. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, that is a PlayStation 2 with a controller and all of the cords. I don't know if it works or not. Hmm. Gotta check that out. And a Dell laptop. Um, don't, don't have the power cord for this, but it does still have the battery attached, so at the very least they should have taken out the battery so it could be properly disposed of. And uh, it's still got the hard drive inside, so I might be able to salvage a hard drive, even if this doesn't work. A hard drive, maybe some RAM. That is a normal sponge, which probably not exciting to you, but I've actually been living here for five years, and... I've been washing my wife's car with a washcloth the entire time because I've been too cheap to buy a sponge. So this is this is a revolution. Uh, another dry erase whiteboard with cork. Oh, a pen, a working mechanical pencil, a I couldn't believe that I found this. A ratchet in excellent condition. It does work. I, it's almost new, as a matter of fact. It's kind of flabbergasted when I saw that. Uh, four solar lights. I've actually got a growing collection of these. My plan is to, sometime in the summer, harvest all of the solar panels from these little garden lights and use them to supplement a solar panel I have in the backyard. Uh, box of Altoids, because why not? Uh, a couple of desk organizers for the desk. I'm probably going to put these in my garage. One, two, three, four pairs of men's shoes, size 13. And these are actually excellent shoes, but I don't have a size 13 foot for them. So those are going to the Goodwill, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My Coke reward points. I got 36 points right here. Well, I'm always pleased to see those. A couple of newspapers. A rather nice uh, piece of red glass. The, uh, the nail polish right there. And the... I'm not even sure if that's a scarf or what it is. Uh, those two pieces I kept because I'm going to harvest the rhinestones for them, and my friend right here uh, can use those rhinestones in her costume jewelry. A couple pairs of women's shoes that are in fair shape, and uh, lots of other supplies. That's lamp oil, that's spackling, it's on all, and it's not dried out, it's uh, almost full. Uh, Cascade is about half full. Uh, three books. Uh, both of those Sudoku books are less than half filled out. Uh, some firecrackers, sparklers. That is some uh, advertising print in a really nice frame, and it is certified. And I need to stop collecting so many frames, because I... I, I just get so darn many of them. <laughs> and uh, the various bags that I found for carrying the stuff home. That uh, piece of rolling luggage is in excellent shape. Got That backpack is in excellent shape. That plastic container is not in excellent shape. 
but um, it's good enough for my attic because I need to pack away my winter clothes. I bag them. A couple of newspapers. Yeah, I should bag those first. VHS tapes. I find a lot of these, and I don't normally keep them, but this one has Beverly Hills Cop, which is a movie that I've been wanting to show my wife, but it recently was taken off of Netflix streaming. Oh. So, I grabbed that right up. Okay. And that was... Um, there are uh, many, many others <laughs> that I passed over. And that covers everything that I have here in the front yard, I believe. Part two of the video. What is that? Is that a grill? Yes, yes, that is a grill. This is a gas grill, and I see... I'm surprised that the guys who go for scrap metals don't grab these up on Trash Day. Because I see so many of these. Uh, in my neighborhood. Um, probably two or three a week. And that's because they rust out. These things are built to last maybe a couple of years. And then they get so rusty that, uh, and rusty in specific places that they just don't work anymore. Because there are some pipes inside here that tend to rust out very early on. Now this one, it has a lot of, <laughs> this has a lot of rust, but the uh, parts that we need to be intact seem to all still be intact. And my father has been asking me to look for a working grill. And I was finally able to find one, and I actually spoke with the previous owner of this grill. He happened to be outside when I went out scavenging this Monday morning and uh, spoke with him about this grill. He said that it was a good grill. That was his term, not mine. But he simply replaced it with something smaller and newer. And was also throwing out over half a bag of charcoal. So, I have it on authority that this is a, quote, good grill. And if you're outside when I come by and I see something you're throwing out that interests me, yeah, I'll stop and I'll speak with you about it. But I am not going to be knocking on your door before the trash truck comes by at 6 a.m. Trust me, you don't want me to do that. So it was recently suggested to me that knocking on the front door when I see some something that I want is the polite thing to do. But when you think about it, it's that just won't work for multiple reasons. And this is the end of my loot video. Thank you for watching.